lovely people. I hope that you're all super duper well, as you'll be able to tell from the title and the thumbnail of this video. This video is all about my favorite things about Durham University. So if you have just put in your application or if you've got your confirmation, first of all, congratulations, then this video can get you nice and excited about the next academic year. And if like me, you've already been to Durham, then we can like reminisce together and get all nostalgic and so make sure that you're nice and cozy. Make sure to give this video a nice big thumbs up if this is the kind of content that you like and subscribe if you're new here. And without further ado, let's get on with the video. We're just gonna jump right in. One of my favorite things about Durham is the college system. They are like microcosms within the university as a whole. I was a member of St. Mary's College, which is one of the older colleges. There are different types of colleges. For example, there are older ones, there are more modern ones. So depending on what kind of thing you're into, where you wanna live, whereabouts in the town you wanna to be as well. And also what you're studying, you'll pick a college depending on that. But the college that you pick doesn't mean that you are just going to be stuck with like those people. If for example, you didn't like those people or they just weren't your type of people, then you can mix with other colleges. And a good thing about that is that you get to like visit all these different lovely buildings, immerse yourself in like the different ethos of each college. At Durham, you have formals, which is another amazing thing. And you can go to different formals at different colleges and it's gonna be different wherever you go. And that's just one of the amazing amazing things about a university like Durham. You get to explore different places, different beautiful buildings, especially like when they're really old. Um, like you might not want to live there because they might be a bit drafty, but you can go to like a formal there. So that means that you get to have a nice dinner there. You can just like vibe there and chill there or go to the bars there. That was so much fun to do when I was at Durham. That was one of my personal favorite things. And you also have like a library. You might have a gym depending on which college that you're at. It gives you the initial choice of some people that you might want to be friends with. Whilst I was discussing the colleges, I did mention this one and I think it's actually worth being its own point the bars especially like the college bars are like one of the perks of being at Durham you get to explore all these like kind of like safe zones where like students where it's just students and it's just Durham students as well so it means that you get to mingle with people like yourself people who are studying at the same place people who might be doing the same course or are interested in the same things like they might be at the same society as you for example so I think that the college bars are great for that college bars are also really cool because it just feels like you're in a different time like because they're so old depending on which building that you're in it's like being like 50 years ago or like 100 years ago each college also has its own drink so if you're into drinking then you might like that kind of thing I think it's quite cute that they all have their own I'm not recommending that you actually drink them or try them but it is like a bit of like university trivia like which college has which drink um not that I actually know any of them because they're all probably absolutely horrendous but that is kind of nice to be like oh my college has this like special drink Another amazing thing about Durham that I touched on while talking about the bars are the societies. So the societies are a great way to actually explore yourself as a person. Like even if you go to university having like loads of interests in loads of different sports or loads of different creative outlets or just a passion about like a certain type of business area, by joining university societies, especially in the first few weeks when they're all free, um, or they should all be free in the first like week of freshers and the first week of refreshers. Um, it really gives you the opportunity to learn different things about yourself and mix with different people and like see if there's something else that you're into that you never ever crossed your mind before. For example, so like lots of the societies are kind of in these brackets of, like I said, like sports, so that's like netball, football, dance. I did like so many different dance societies. They really take up all your time and they really like fill all your time in a really positive way. So like you aren't just doing work, but they all, technically count towards your CV, which means that when you're applying for jobs, you can put in, oh, I had like an executive position at this society. And then it's kind of like work that you aren't paid for, but that will help towards actually getting a job in a like professional sphere as well. Um, but that's just like one of the other perks. That isn't why you would join a society. It can be why you join a society, but that shouldn't really be the main reason. The main reason should be that you want to have a good time and meet new people and enjoy like the thing that you enjoy. So like I said, there's like sports, there's lots of different creative things like um, like maybe painting, art sock. Each college also has an art sock, I think, or at least my college did. So like your college might have one as well as there being an intercollegiate one. Lots of different music societies. There's lots of different like film societies, like international films. And then it's like specific things like Lord of the Rings and like um, there's things like Dungeons and Dragons and games and all those different things. And they just make your experience so full and rich. And also there's like debating things. So that was one of the societies that I was a member of. I was a member of the Model United Nations Society because I was very into international goodness, that kind of thing. Um, so I joined that one. I think I joined it in my second year. The executive member of the panel. 
basically there's a society for absolutely everything and not only are they great places to meet new people they are great places to hone your skills and get new skills and I think that that is one of the most exciting and like nourishing to your soul things that you can gain from your university experience. Another amazing thing about Durham is that it is the most beautiful city. It is absolutely tiny but it is so classic and traditional just being in Durham so that was one of the things that I really loved about it. Like there's the cathedral which is the reason why it's a city otherwise it'd probably just be a town because it's so tiny. So like quite a nice array of shops. I haven't been to Durham in the past year given the situation. I don't know which shops are still open or not, but there used to be such a great array of shops. Some very specific shops like, you know, like the mountain warehouses and there's also the Durham University Waterstones, which I always thought was so cool. And they sell like Durham merch in there as well as like books about Durham and um, academic books as well. That was one of my favorite shops. I know that I already touched on bars, but I thought I would give a like mention to the nightlife because even though the nightlife is shocking as it is probably absolutely everywhere, like they are so, the clubs are so like gross really, um, but they can be quite fun, especially if you're going there with a society group or your group of friends. It's kind of fun to just immerse yourself in that a little bit, just get that little bit of university experience. You don't have to go too hardcore with it. Um, I wouldn't recommend that straight away anyway. Um, but like the bars, like there's an amazing selection of bars in Durham, actually. Um, I don't know if I mentioned that. There's so many, for such a small town, there are, there are tens and tens of bars, all absolutely lovely. Um, and there are quite a lot of clubs as well. Like the majority, actually half the town is probably bars and clubs. Um, so there are lots to choose from and especially the bars, they're really pretty and they'll have like beautiful view, maybe of the cathedral, maybe of like the riverside. And they are just nice places to spend like an evening chilling with your friends or a night. That can be very, very fun. Especially like if you finish an essay or if you've got a place on a master's course or something and you're just celebrating and that can be a really nice thing to do. There are also gyms in Durham. Gyms weren't my favorite part about being in Durham um, and I don't even remember if when I was a student at Durham if I had a gym membership maybe like part of the time um, but there are lots to choose from and they are pretty good like there is a student gym at Maiden Castle if you want to be around students but it is absolutely minuscule some of the colleges will have like a gym space that doesn't mean that they have like much equipment but if you just want to do like floor work or something that's fine um, and there was also the Freeman's Key gym which is a huge gym that isn't just for students so if you want to see people who aren't students um, and it's very very big, very very air conditioned, lots of equipment, lots of space to do weights. There's a lot of people who used to like being in that particular area. I don't think I've ever been in that particular area but there are lots of those to choose from as well and I remember there was like quite big windows which is very very nice in the Freeman's Key Gym as well so that is another thing that you can just add to your Durham experience that will enrich it and also keep you nice and healthy too. And I think finally, my favorite thing about Durham, or one of my favorite things, I haven't like ranked them in my head, but one of my favorite things are the opportunities that it gives you. So like whether that's to do with like networking with careers people, if that's your kind of thing, or just meeting people that you would have never met otherwise, people who are interested in very different things, who study very different things to you, who were brought up in a very different way. I think that that is kind of an amazing part of being at Durham. People from all over the world as well, which is one of my favorite things about being in Durham. And you get to like, just learn so much from so many different people. That was probably one of the most enriching things about my experience. You do have the opportunity, like I said, to like network, to join societies, to learn new skills, to experience these different things whilst you're a student. And I would recommend like going for all of them. And you can like, of course you can drop out if you want to, that's absolutely fine. I would just say try as many different things as possible and see what you absolutely love and you'll learn so much about yourself. Um, and you'll just come out a stronger person. Actually, finally, one of the other good things about Durham is the stash. You know, the merch, that is quite fun as well. But that's just a tiny point, that's, you know. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you really enjoyed it and learned some new things about Durham as a place. If you have any questions, of course, you can leave them in the comments below or contact me via my social channels. I'll link them down below and on the screen here, especially Instagram is like a good place to connect with me, uh, like in my comments or in my DMs. If you would like to do that, then you can. I also have like lots of videos from Durham and Cambridge and vlogs from there as well. And some blog posts, especially about the kind of university topics. Um, if you have any questions or, or anything that you want me to cover, please leave them down below. I hope that you've really enjoyed this video. I can't wait to see you in my next one very, very soon. And I hope you have an amazing rest of your week. Bye.